Good evening. My name is Lieutenant Rodney Blunt of the North Stout Fire and EMS Company. On behalf of North Stout Fire Company, I would like to welcome you to the annual Fire Memorial. We will begin our ceremony with the raising of the colors and the singing of the national anthem by Denzel Baker from Piscataway High School. We will begin with the raising of the colors. Companies, attention. Present arms. will be presented to you by Sierra Williams, Chaplain, North Stelton Fire. Companies uncovered. Can we all bow our heads and be in a posture of prayer? Heavenly Father, we thank you for today, a day where we can take a pause and honor our brothers and sisters who have fallen. Father God, I ask that you stand by your word and be the great comforter to those who are mourning. Father, you know above all else that this has been a year of great difficulty. I just ask that you just continue to protect us and give us strength. I pray that every time that we step into a room and put our uniform on for a call, you just protect us and we return home safely. Bless every company and member and everyone here who is here today, and bless those who cannot make it. We love you, we thank you, and it's in your holy name we pray. Amen. Companies covered. I would like to introduce to you the Honorable Mayor Brian Waller. Thank you, Lieutenant. I would like to acknowledge some of the officials that are present here today. I'm gonna to first start off with our Middlesex County Sheriff, Millie Scott, to my right, to your left. Also, Middlesex County Commissioner, Chanel McCollum. 
Uh, we also have our former mayor, Ted Light, here, who's in one of the seats over there. He's in the bleachers. Uh, we have Council President Kapil Shaw. He's around here or will be arriving. Vice Council President Michelle Lombardi. We have Third Ward Councilman Steve Kahn, who's with the Possum Town Fire Contingency. First Ward Councilman Frank Earn. Second Ward Councilman Jim Ballard. We also have at large Councilwoman Gabrielle Cahill. And at large Councilman Linwood Rouse, who happens to be with the whole chaplain of the Holmes Marshall Fire Company. I will try to be very brief out here. Uh, I am honored to be here with you today as we pay tribute to the firefighters for whom the last alarm has sounded. They no longer walk amongst us, but are here with spirit lives. It lives with you. You are the ones taking up their great legacy. It is a legacy of courage and care, of strength and sacrifice. The duty of a firefighter may be simple to say, but its gravity is heavy. It is to save lives. It is to protect our families and homes. As large as the community gets, there is no community without firefighters. Our township is one of the oldest towns in America. Before there was a country, there was scattering. Generations of volunteers over hundreds of years have built this community. Again and again, young men and women answer the call to protect the public. As they age, the call endures. Only until their time is called to leave Earth is the burden relieved. Let us remember their names. Let us hurl their bravery. Let us trim humbly in their memory. For those serving now in one of our fire companies, thank you. On behalf of the Grateful Township, we are indebted to your service. Thank you, and God bless each and every one of you. At this time, I'd like to introduce our State Senator, Robert Smith, to come up and say a few words. Thank you, Mayor. Can everybody hear me? Advice to future speakers, all the microphone quotes. First of all, isn't it wonderful, stupendous, to be outside with friends enjoying a great spring summer night? And for all of the people gathered here tonight, you know, we do this every year in memory of all of these heroes. You know, in the pandemic, people were occasionally putting a sign out saying, heroes live here. Before the pandemic, we, need, we knew all of these men and women were heroes. They've been here for our town for generations. And some are a little older, and some are a little younger, but they keep on coming because of the spirit of the scatterers. We have people who live here who love their town, and they want to see it protected, and they want to be part of the community. And examples of those heroes are everybody here who's standing on the field. We are truly blessed in this town to have people who care so much. Now I'm going to do a commercial advertisement. Anybody here put on a couple of pounds during the pandemic? I'm not going to ask you to raise your hand, but I'm raising my hand. You know that you have one of the finest community health centers in the state of New Jersey, literally a mile from the street. So, and, and one of the things we found out, unfortunately, in the pandemic is that if you have a couple of extra pounds, a little underlying condition, not enough exercise in your life, you make yourself vulnerable. And thank God so many of us got through it. But let me make a suggestion. It's a suggestion for me too. I'm going up to the Scanway Community Center and work out. Or to another health club, but to definitely get those pounds up so that you can be here next year and we can honor you again. So please, 
Continue your good work for Piscataway Township. We want you to know, and the point of this ceremony is to tell you we love you, and we love your, your, your concern and care for your fellow Piscatawayans. Please continue to do that. God bless. Be safe. Be healthy. Up next, as our guest speaker, who really does not need any introduction, but I have a few words. I, I just met him personally today, but I have known of Pastor, and he has been a great inspiration to not only this town, but this county and also the state. And I would like to bring forward at this time, Pastor Joseph Leo from Abundant Life Worship Center. Thank you, sir. Well, God bless you. It is a great honor to be here and a great privilege to be here with you today to pay tribute to the men and women that have fallen and to remember their labor of love and all that they have went through to help our community. And today as we stand here, we are excited to know that God has taken us through some of our darkest days. If it were not for the Lord, the psalmist said, we would not be here. And we want to thank God for the men and women that are currently serving. The men and women that are on the fence of thinking about volunteering. I want to encourage you today to make a great community. It takes community members to help the community. And I want to encourage everyone that is on the fence, that is thinking about joining. This is one of the greatest townships here in New Jersey. And we want to thank God for the men and women that are here, that are serving. Your labor of love will be recognized not only by your fellow men and women, but also by God himself. Today, as we stand here, in the presence of Almighty God, we acknowledge that God sees and God is keeping the books. And I want to encourage you today that we continue not to be weary in doing well. As we continue to fight the good fight, and the reason why it's a good fight is because God is on our side. And because God is on our side, we know that we will be victorious. The scripture goes on to say that I will never leave you nor forsake you. And as our men and women place their lives on the line to save others and to stand in the gap and to help total strangers, God sees, God acknowledges, and God is keeping the book. And as we go, to the end of this pandemic, we see that God has been with us. And I want to encourage you today that no matter what you face, you're not alone. Our prayers are with you. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the God that sent His only Son to die on the cross of Calvary, is the God that loves you. And because he's a God that loves you and me, he's the God that will continue to watch over us and protect us no matter what you face. I stand here before God, encouraging the men and women that are part of our fire departments here in Piscataway, that you continue to show your labor of love. And as you do so, I visualize in my eyes that God is standing at the finish line and God is rooting every one of you on and God is saying, continue to fight, 
Continue to volunteer. Continue to do your part. And I will do your, I will do my part. No matter what it is, as you go in that fiery building, as you go through those circumstances, that I will be with you. You need not worry. The God of heaven is with you. He'll protect you. He'll have his angels encamped around about you. That even if you dash your foot against the stone, that God will protect you. So no matter what, I want to encourage you. Continue. Continue to show forth your labor of love. And our prayers are with you, with the future volunteers, and also for the ones that have fallen in their families. Our hearts go out to them, and we pray God's blessings be upon them throughout all eternity as they have entered into their final resting place. We thank God for this great community, and we believe that God is going to continue to do greater and mightier works in our midst. Today, from our Church of Abundant Life Worship Center, today we want to give a contribution to the North Selton Fire Department in the amount of $5,000 to show our appreciation of what these men and women do for our community. And this is not the end. We are going to continue to support the rest of the departments as well, just to show that here at Abundant Life, we appreciate what you do in our community. And as a community worker myself, I want to thank God because God gives us the strength to go on and to receive all of his goodness. God bless you. God be with you. Yes. That is on behalf of Abundant Life Worship Center. It is a contribution of $5,000, and I know that it will be used for good works. God bless you. May the Lord be with you. We will now have a selection from Paul DeLeo of the Middlesex County. Police, fire, pipes, and drums. At this time, we will now have roll call of deceased members by department. First, North Stelton Fire Department. Lieutenant Mark Rizzo. Michael O'Donnell, Sr. Walter Dudek. Possum Town Fire Department, Fire Department, excuse me. Andy Ledong. River Road Fire Department.
Raymond Rose Sr. Harbor Holes Fire Company. Past Assistant Chief George Higgins. Past Chief Paul Amato. Holmes Marshall, Fire Department. Pass Assistant Chief Michael Cook. Pass Chief Rod Vennett. Charter member, Edward Bradley. Past Captain, Ralph McNeil, Jr. New Market Fire Company. Frank Yannick. Steve Zamaris. Lenny Cups. Matt Bonus. Acknowledgements and or deceased members of the Women's Auxiliary, starting with North Stelton, Ladies Auxiliary. Thank you. Possum Town, Ladies Auxiliary. Rose Ledon. River Road Ladies Auxiliary. Thank you. Arbor Ladies Auxiliary. Thank you. Holmes Marshall Ladies Auxiliary. Ella Mack. Helen Jackson. New Market Ladies Auxiliary. Thank you. We will now have the placement of the reef.
Kapiliz. Attention. Present on. Benediction will now be administered by Dan Sutter, chaplain of North Stelton Fire Company. We're going to close with the fireman's prayer. And I'd like to dedicate that to all the folks that are on the memorial in our town, in many other towns around the United States who have given their lives and their service to the fire department. At the same time, I'd like for us to think about our many men and women who are in the services supporting our country right now. Company Uncover. When I am called to duty, God, wherever flames may rage, give me strength to save a life, whatever be its age. Help me to embrace a little child before it is too late, or save an older person from the horror of that fate. Enable me to be alert to hear the weakest shout and quickly and efficiently to put the fire out. I want to fill my calling and to give the best in me to guard my neighbor and protect his property. And if, according to your will, I have to lose my life, bless with your protecting hand my loving family from strife. Amen. Company cover. We will now have a moment of silence for the departed firefighters, EMS, lady auxiliaries, members who have lost their lives in line of duty.
Thank you.